This one just made me laugh is I got a couple of people that were saying like basically girl boss anything. So um, like a girl boss mug. Hi everyone, it's Nick. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Okay, in this video today, I thought we would do something a little bit different, a little spin on something that I have done on YouTube now a couple of times. I usually do interior design trends that I am over. I have done a couple of those videos. I always have a lot of fun making them. You guys seem to enjoy watching me politely um, make fun of weird things people do in their house. But I thought I would slightly change it up this time and I would ask you all what design trends you are over and then I would discuss in this video whether I agree, whether I disagree. And I asked this question over on my Instagram, which if you're not following me over on Instagram, you should. And you guys are hilarious because I asked you for your picks for interior design trends that need to go and you delivered. So first up on this list of interior design trends that need to go is rattan everything. I gotta say, common theme was that people are maybe a little sick of boho. I feel like people are kind of over that Instagram YouTuber, oh look, I just turned this basket into a pendant. People seem to be a little bit over macrame, but let's specifically just zero in on that basket pendant. And maybe I like played a little bit of a part in that. I don't know because, um, um, this seems to be a trend that people really seem to be really tired of, really over, and they're excited to see the basket pendants go. At least some of you are, at least people on my Instagram. I don't know if I 100% agree. I totally get the sentiment that when you bundle all these things together, I can see why people are really sick of it. I do think that rattan is an interesting material, and let's be honest, let's look at why it's working. Like these basket pendants are popular really for a few reasons. Number one is they are fairly like neutral. They're fairly easy to work into a space. Not that difficult to throw up a basket pendant and be like, oh, that looks kind of cool, which brings me to my second point, which is they have a really big presence, I think. And then the third reason, well, actually there's four reasons. The third reason is they add a lot of texture. I think there's a textural component to rattan that I think is kind of interesting. And since people are kind of wanting that sort of tactile kind of element into their space, especially the boho queens, which just want texture on texture, pattern on pattern, maybe that's a factor. But then the fourth reason, which I think is really the driving reason is that it's actually really affordable. It's cheap. Like the center leg pendant that I have recommended, I think it was in a couple of my videos. The center leg pendant's like $70 US for a really kind of cool pendant that has a really big presence. I can understand why people are sick of it, but that combination of the texture, the works easily into a bunch of spaces, you know, fairly big presence, kind of cool looking, but overall like a great value, I think is what is clearly driving that pendant. Apparently into every millennial's home, that you can possibly think of. So I get why you're sick of them. I still kind of like them, but maybe I'm also getting a little bit over them just because they seem to be used over and over again in the same types of spaces. I'm gonna throw up some pictures though here because I think there are some really cool ways that you can use basket pendants. There's some interesting ways rather than that sort of typical space that we see over and over and over again. Okay, second up on your list, this came up several times, which was live edge tables. Okay, so I feel bad for this one. I have, this, listen, this is your opinion, not mine, again, so I don't feel bad about it. Um, I have been asked my opinion. I don't personally like them either, but I feel really bad because most of the time that people have these, in my experience, is people have them because they really mean something to them. Someone either made them or they're handcrafted by somebody um, and they bought them to maybe support a local artist. And that might be their reasoning for why they have a live edge table. So that is kind of cool and something that I like to promote on this channel a lot is that people, you know, they work with real artists or people that they make things themselves or they get things passed down or really sentimental pieces that mean something. So I would say if that's your live edge table and it fits in that category, I'm gonna say go for it. It might not necessarily be my taste, but that's okay. And apparently it's not the taste of a lot of people on my Instagram, that's okay too. Uh, the mass produced stuff, I have no problem saying that that stuff needs to go. I think I totally agree that there's some people sort of cashing in on this look, it's a live edge table. Isn't it so interesting and unique? And it's like handcrafted, but it's not because you bought it at home sense. You know what I mean? Like that type of stuff. I'm over, you're over, needs to go. But if your father-in-law like made you a live edge, you know, end table, 
for your wedding present, then I, like I'm not going to tell you to get rid of it. Like obviously that has some sentimental value to you, I would assume. So um, yeah, sure, keep that. And third up on the list of interior design trends that need to go from your perspective, remember yours, not mine, so don't get mad at me, is decorative ladders. These rando ladders, usually in the bathroom, usually, right? That are just sort of propped up against the wall, not going anywhere. There's no attic. They're not going, there's no attic above your bathroom, okay? So these are not going anywhere. These are not used, these are not functional. They are there to delicately put a throw or to put a bunch of towels and just sort of like sit in the corner. I get why people are sick of them. I personally believe, again, I think it sort of speaks to that little bit of inauthenticity coming to that ladder in the corner. But I also understand that people want to display a throw or they want to display their towels and they don't really know how to do that properly. I think a good old fashioned shelf might work a little bit better, um, but that's just me. So I get why you're sick of them because you do see them a lot, especially in people's bathrooms. So I get why people are sick of them. I don't know, up to you. Let me know in the comment section. Are you tired of the decorative ladder as well? I mean, I don't have one in my bathroom and I wouldn't put one in my bathroom, but I can see why you would. But again, I wouldn't. Okay, fourth on the list of interior design trends that need to go according to you, and that is Millennial Pink. This one, I wholeheartedly agree. Uh, so pink is actually one of my, my least favorite colors. I don't, do I have any pink behind me? No, I don't. I don't really have any pink behind me because I don't really like it. Um, I had to make sure in before you all called me out on the comment section, like Nikki of pink right behind you. Um, I don't like pink. It's not my favorite color. And I specifically don't like this soft pastel, I guess millennial pink, they call it, um, that has been so prevalent for years. I actually did a collaboration before with James from The Paint People. You can go check out that video where he says like my, I think it was my least favorite colors or, you know, pink colors that needed to go. And I specifically called out First Light by Benjamin Moore because it was their color of the year in 2020. They released it in October, 2019 because they thought it would be this really beautiful millennial pink and it was optimistic, which didn't work out well because that was October, 2019, just before the whole world fell part so you know maybe a little bit of a um, misfire there Benjamin Moore but anyway and this millennial pink was just it has been everywhere and it is the color that refuses to die it is just everywhere is this soft blush pastel pink all over the place I don't like it um, it's not my favorite color a lot of people do I will also say it's kind of like that basket pendant we talked about earlier there is a certain aesthetic which is where this pink just keeps coming up over and over again I feel like it's now kind of run its course and people are using this color and they're kind of having this look less and less which I think is a good thing but I can definitely see because I got a lot of comments and those old DMs that you guys are really sick of this color I agree I think it's time to go I think there's just more interesting colors that are out there I mean that's I mean color is a color you either like it or you don't and so if you know you love pink go for it I don't I can see why people are sick of it I think people are just really sick of this sort of Instagrammer YouTuber look and so oftentimes we see this millennial pink with the mirrored furniture and the Tom Ford book and I think people are just really in general just kind of sick of that color I am too so yes I wholeheartedly agree with you Instagram okay and then last on my list is well not on my list your list is painted arches um, yes, I have never addressed this on my channel yet, which I do not know why I have been asleep at the wheel because this trend has been popular for a while now where people will just randomly paint arches around their room. Listen, arches are trending. They have been for a little while um, and they are cool. Like curves have been in for a while and they continue to be in and probably will be in for a little bit longer for sure. Um, but it needs to be really like intentional and um, authentic and a painted arch. I get where you're trying to do because you're trying to be like, look at this architectural detail. Oh, it's not architectural detail, but were you fooled because I painted it bright orange? No, I was not fooled. That is not an architectural detail. That is you framing something with a painted arch. 
um, with a little bit of paint and I get it. It's cheap, it's easy, and you try to jump on a trend. When people talk about interior design trends and they say to me, Nick, I hate interior design trends. Why do you talk about them? This is exactly the type of stuff that they're talking about. Where I think trends have value is mostly just as ideas. Ideas of kind of where the industry is headed, people being creative, trying new things, and maybe you find some stuff that inspires you and makes you want to go, yeah, that's kind of cool. I want to check it out and try it in my own home. But ideally when we're looking at trends, we're looking for stuff that is um, going to fit us, fit our personality, fit our design style, that's something that really sort of speaks to us and is going to really also work into our home. It gives us a really great idea, but it is ultimately of quality and authentic to sort of the space. That's generally the trends that we want to sort of pick up on. And I will agree with the people on my Instagram uh, that this painted arch trend is not one of them and doesn't fit into the authentic quality category. Uh, this is an honorable mention, I guess, because I did five. This is an honorable mention, and that this one just made me laugh, is I got a couple of people that were saying, like, basically girl boss anything. So, um, like a girl boss mug, or, you know, saying uh, a cute little saying above your, maybe an inspirational quote above your office desk to get you through the day as we work from home. I mean, it does sort of scream a little bit that you're in an MLM, but you know, that's on you. You do what you need to do to um, hustle. I just think, you know, if you need your daily affirmation from a mug, then you go for it. But I would just say that you are an intelligent, wonderful person. I don't think you needed a mug to tell you that. So I don't think you need it on a mug, but um, you do you. Okay, so that's it for me for today, you guys. Thank you so much for participating in this video. Thanks for all your messages. They were hilarious. They made me laugh. I always enjoy interacting with you guys. So thank you so much for DMing me on Instagram and for watching this video. And I will link here to the playlist for interior design trends that need to go, the ones that I think need to go. And I'll see you all in those videos. Thanks. Bye.